Metallic and ionic bonds are both formed due to the attraction between positive and negative charges. Explain why ionic substances are brittle and metals are malleable. Okay. So ionic bonding, as we know, is an electrostatic attraction between positively and negatively charged ions. So in an ionic substance, these ions are locked in place by the attraction to adjacent ions. Okay, so each ion is held tightly in place because other ions around it are holding it there. Okay, it's like if you got, um, if for instance, there was a, a robber or something, he's running down the street, someone tackles him, then a bunch of other people dogpile on him, then those other people are holding him down. The same thing is happening in an ionic, uh, an ionic substance. The positive ion, say here, is being locked in place by all these negative ions surrounding it. And each of those negative ions is being held by another set of positive ions and so on and so forth. Okay? Now, if excessive force is exerted on the lattice, it will break. So you will have enough energy to forcibly break some of those bonds and then it will shatter. Okay? Metallic bonding, on the other hand, is an electrostatic attraction between positive ions, the nuclei of the metal, and a sea of negative electrons, okay? So the electrons that are whizzing around it. If a force is exerted on the lattice, the metal ions can actually slide past one another because they, they're happy to just be attracted to these electrons which are free to move wherever they want. So the metal ions in the lattice can actually be pushed across one another, um, causing the metal to deform, okay? Which makes the metal chain shape. The electrons can still interact with the ions, only their path will change. So instead of going straight, maybe they might take a left, or instead of going straight, they might you know, have to go downwards or upwards. So their path changes, but they still are interacting with the metal lattice, okay? which, mean, which is why metals can bend and be reformed, while ion, ionic substances are generally brittle, because there's so many forces holding them together, um, and so many ions holding each part together, that it just doesn't want to be deformed in any way. Okay.